Hey, what's up guys? I'm out here with Devin Graham, aka Devin Supertramp, aka maker of exceptional quality digital content. Thank and you. Uh, do you have any idea what we're doing here today? We are going to make something awesome and it's gonna be random and I'm doing it with the king of random. So that's what I'm guessing, my hypothesis. He has no idea what we're doing today. So no idea. Let's I'm making it up. We are making super shooters. These things are pocket slingshots powered by balloons. Yeah. You don't really want to use anything harder than a marshmallow because as innocent as these look, it does pack quite a punch and can do a lot of damage. So. You don't use big marshmallows, you use little ones. Yeah, right? the little tiny marshmallows. So you can hit me from here to here. Yeah, I can hit you there. Oh. <laughs> I saw my life flash before my eyes. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, dude, look, that's stuck to your shirt. <laughs> that is stuck to your shirt. Will you let me hit you again? Yeah. Sweet. Uh, I like this guy. Try this. Oh yeah! I heard that one. That, was that one definitely hurt. <laughs> Let's see it. See that, guys? That is from a marshmallow. Marshmallows will leave welts. Okay. Someone stepped in dog poop. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Grant is stepping in dog poop. Oh. To make this work, all you're gonna need is some kind of a juice bottle, drink bottle, soda bottle, whatever. What we're looking for is one of these wide mouth caps. And if you go down to the store, you're gonna see a huge variety of different caps. You'll see white caps, black caps, purple caps, yellow caps, red caps, pretty much anything that you want. So I tend to lean toward black caps. They work really well, pretty much with any color of balloon. So I'm using the Powerade. Oh dude, where'd it go? We just lost the bottle. I'll dive in there. Are you gonna try? I don't mm -hmm. know if you can see it, maybe grab no, it. I can't but... see it. Um, this is like poop infested duck pond, so. Yeah, wow. This is disgusting. I don't think we're gonna be drinking that. All about the shot though. All right, now check this out guys. So depending on the size of pocket slingshot you want, look at the tops of the bottles. You can see Gatorade is a little bit bigger than the Powerade. And the Powerade is more the normal size of what you're gonna find on juice containers and everything else. So if you want a bigger slingshot, Gatorade's the way to go. This is not a sponsored video. Checking contest. Set, go! I'll give you a head <laughs> and this guy. He actually won. <laughs> I wasn't even close. Okay, it's time to cut the tops off the bottles. Choose your weapon. I'm gonna go with the saw. All right. He's gonna take the saw, we'll try out the scissors, and let's see what the difference is. You see how it kind of slopes in, there's a gap, and then there's that flat part of the neck? Yep. And we want to cut it so it's exactly flat. I'm not a good cutter, should you be doing this? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> hey. Success! I didn't screw it up. We have a decapitated bottle, and you can see how this is nice and flat. That is exactly what we want right there. But it's a little bit dirty and we need to clean it up, and for that, we could use just the natural environment around us, maybe some concrete, or if you happen to have some, maybe a little sandpaper will go a long way. Bring it everywhere I go. So just follow along. You'll learn how to sandpaper with me. That's kind of what we're known for on our channel. While Devin's working on that, I'm gonna show you how you can do it with a pair of scissors. This is not recommended. This is actually very dangerous, but it will work. I just wanted to show you that it will work. So get your bottle on a flat surface, punch into it like so. And man, that's really hard plastic. This will actually work better on one of those bottles like the Gatorade or Powerade bottles, but it will work with a pair of scissors, as you can see. So, just get it roughed off and you can see it's gonna leave quite a bit around the edges there, but that's not a big deal. You can take your scissors and kind of do another pass and clean it up. Oh shoot. <laughs> but mine's a little bit sticky, so I'm just gonna wash it off there to clean it up a bit. But essentially that's what it's gonna look like and unfortunately with a pair of scissors, that's about as good as it's gonna get. Hey guys, it's been a while. How did yours turn out, Devin? Um, it turned out awesome. <laughs> See that service? It's actually, mine is like super smooth. The question is, can I get it out? And I guess I can. So we're about to put the balloons on. We got a bag of balloons. You can grab a bag from the dollar store or, or your party supply store. So Devin's going with the black and red. I'm going with kind of this uh, goldish orange and a black cap. That's gonna be cool. But before you put your balloon on the cap, there's a black band on here that needs to come off first. This is gonna be tricky, yeah? Yeah, don't cut it. Do don't, not cut oh, it. Do not cut it. We want that band. We want it preserved. So just dig your fingernails uh, down in there. I see. Bam, did it. Success! That's Devin hard. did it, guys. That's All right, tough. so now that we got our caps prepared, we've got our balloons picked out, the next thing to do is to modify them, and we're gonna come up about a quarter to half inch up the neck of the balloon and just slice it. Make a clean cut. Well, that's actually a pretty terrible job, yeah, but I've seen better. I screwed that. I'm not gonna lie, I've seen better. <laughs> Whoa, you're like a duck. Try this, see if this does it. 
Oh, beautiful. Flawless. Okay, teamwork. That is what it's supposed to look like. Just take your cap with the cut part on, on the top, I guess, and we're just gonna open that balloon up, wrap it around so that the top edge of the balloon is pretty much exactly flush with the top of that bottle top. I've got wrinkles in mind, so I'm just gonna work those back. We wanna get rid of all those wrinkles. Okay, I think I got it really good, actually. Okay, cool. So now look at the balloon and see how well-centered it is when it holds up on its own. Great. That's looking pretty good, Devin. I'm impressed. Thanks. All right, now remember that little black band? Yes. Sir. Replace the little black band. So now after our black band is back in place, if you take your thumb and just gently roll it back, you can see it's gonna roll that rubber back, and it's actually gonna fit right into that groove of that bottle thread. It makes it look super clean, super professional. Here's the trick, you just take your thumb and just kind of glide it around and then it all nestles in there. And see how it's kind of like a rounded ridge, which gives it a little more bulk, so now when you pull the balloon, it's not gonna pop through because that ring holds it in place. Check it out, guys, we are finished. Devin's got his red pocket shooter, I got my orange pocket shooter, and you can see, if you look straight down, the balloon is pretty much centered. Mine's a little off, but it's not bad, though. Yeah, now all you have to do is hold it with your thumb and finger, and uh, you, you can even nestle it in there in the webbing of your thumb, and then pull it straight back, and then shoot it. Now when you're done using the slingshot, this is the coolest thing. You can wrap this up, put a little bit of ammunition in there, and then you can actually screw the cap back on, and it makes this little compact puck that fits perfectly down into your pocket. No one will know that you have a concealed weapon on you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's super portable, it's very inconspicuous, and it's just a lot of fun. This is the kind of stuff I wish I had when I was in grade school. Not that I'm saying that you should take these to grade school. Times have changed. You know, I just had a random thought. I wonder if we could use this thing to shoot marshmallows out for the ducks to eat. I'm not talking about shooting the actual ducks. Oh, I, I mean, like, you said trying to hit them. No, no, shooting marshmallows for them to eat. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh, they took the bait. If you were to look down through the center of this thing, you'd want to see it snap exactly through that hole. In contrast, if you're off a little bit, it might snap up and hit your finger or snap down and hit your hand. You don't want that. So it is going to take a little bit of practice to work on your aim. If you're a little bit nervous about hitting your hand, you could hold it just between your thumb and your finger. Try it that way as well. It's just a little bit harder to hang on to. All right, guys, so just for contrast, we're gonna do a Gatorade bottle. There's no bad ideas here, but there's definitely no good ideas here. Sorry, I'm not doing a very good job. Oh. It's like the best one we've done yet. Not too bad. And now we've got like a wider mouth. This is a teamwork. So Grant just pulled out like 30 of these out of his back pocket, no big deal. So now that we've got so many, what should we do with them? Battle. <laughs> Any last words? I think you're gonna miss. <laughs> I can tell. Because you have glasses on, your eyes are protected. So I say we just do one. No. That's straight on. No. No. <laughs> no. Is that loaded? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Two. <laughs> one. <laughs> Battle! <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> no for the face. Check it out. I got like seven in here. We're going shotgun effect. <laughs> they do leave welts. Oh, 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 dude. That was good. Good shot. That was a good shot. It was kind of a cheap shot. It was. I had no bullets, <laughs> and he shot me when I had nothing to fire back at. It's just I had one stuck in there, and I just wanted to like get it out there. Yeah, for sure. Ah! <laughs> nice. Nailed it. Nailed Devin. That probably sounds bad, doesn't it? I am surprised at how far these things are flinging now. Look at that. I think it because it's not as hot, maybe. Yeah, the sun's gone down. So marshmallows will work. You just got to get the right conditions. This thing is rocking up. Check that out, huh? Watch the bushes. Watch this. You see that? That's amazing. That's a marshmallow. So what we have learned, though, is it definitely does get things way too sticky if you start screwing around. Now, these things may seem fairly innocent, but they do pack a real wallop. So we got a few little rocks here and uh, the bottle blasters from a previous project. We're going to see if it's powerful enough to make these targets explode. They really do sonic booms? Yeah. Okay, Devin's up. <laughs> yeah, these shoot like super good. I had one job. Ooh, that one hit the bottle. You need a sharper one and hit a little bit harder. <laughs> I saw my life flash before my eyes. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that loud. So with this little contraption, we shoot a, what was it, 20 ounce bottle? Maybe a little bit bigger, it's about like this a, big. A little 500 milliliter. And we're talking like pieces for days, like <laughs> welted into the tree. <laughs> so we're going to spend the next two or three hours cleaning up this mess that we made. But this stuff is everywhere and like, 
that's not normal. Took me a while to get used to the marshmallow. Rocks though are like guaranteed fatal. So like, I'm stoked on this. So to take this up a notch, we're using sidewalk chalk. We're gonna crush this down into a powder to give our exploding targets a little more color. A little more zest, if you will. I think we got a winner. Here we go. I don't think we want to go much more than that. Okay, update guys. So we got a huge exploding target filled with chalk dust behind us. We each have one rock. We're gonna shoot these at the same time and see if we can get this first try. Yeah? All right, here we go guys for the win. Three, two, one. <laughs> first try. You got that one, I think. <laughs> I wasn't close, was I? Actually, I was the one that nailed it. <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> so what's the deal with the salt? So I use this salt for killing flies. You can use these as fly shooters, like in the house or in so the backyard. You just pour a bunch of it in there. Like, That's probably enough. You don't need a whole lot. But this acts kind of like as a shotgun effect. So if you got a fly on the wall or on your computer or something, shoot a little salt at it. This will kill kill the fly. It'll knock it out of commission. Yeah. Whoa. That's pretty good. That's huh? actually legit. Yeah, it's it's legit. like a shotgun effect. It's everywhere. You got salt right here if you want to get rid of the flies in your backyard or in your house. You got marshmallows which are all over the place, they're tasty. And the good thing about these is they don't hurt people too bad as long as you hit them in the stomach, they will leave welts. They will leave welts. Uh, more dangerous options, airsoft BBs will work. These will punch through cardboard. And then of course, steel BBs. These are probably like the real no-no. These will do big damage. Do not shoot at people or property or any living thing. Don't shoot ducks or children. <laughs> so before we let you get out of here, Devin, there's something everybody wants to know. What do you look like with your hat off? The world will never know. <laughs> Come on, take it off, take it off. Yes, yes, this is yes. This like being naked. Oh, the Devin Gray and reveal. You saw it here first, folks. You saw it here first, Grant Check Thompson. It out. Live, uncut, unedited, unrated. If you want a Team Super Tramp hat, you can go to the Devin Super Tramp website. If you want, but it's not really our thing. Okay, guys, thanks for hanging with us today. It's so cool to make these slingshots with you and to be hanging with the Super Tramp himself. And me and Grant are kind of unique because we're not so much the face of our channel. Grant definitely is more than I am, but we kind of go full on out with our production, so I'm glad we got to do something together. Yeah, this is really fun, and I hope you enjoyed it as well, and uh, you guys have been asking for projects that are really easy to make and very cheap to make. I hope this solves that need for you. Go out, blast these around the world, have fun, have a great time, go make something, and we'll see you in the next video. Talk to you then. Hey guys, just wanted to give credit where credit's due. This is David Peterson. He does a lot of the music for the Devon Super Tramp channel. And recently I've been using a lot of his music on my channel as well. And you can too. You could use my songs and you could submit songs to Grant over at usemysongs.com slash thekingofrandom. So go check out his website, usemysongs.com and show him some love.